All right, stepping into the Espresso kitchen this morning with Chef Moira. And I think she definitely had Katlejo in mind when she decided to make this particular recipe because we all know how passionate he is about chicken. So, Kat, this one is for you, brother. Moira, nice to have you back in the kitchen. Oh, you're great. Glad to see you working with, uh, with chicken, but as, uh, as always, you're bringing your unique twist to it. Yes, well, this is a spin-off on, on a very old dish that we've all grown up with. It's apricot chicken. So um, people love chicken, and they like it nice and juicy. Um, mm. The original recipe was with chutney and, and brown onion powder, and I'm using sweet chilli sauce with a few of my own ingredients. All right. Um, and I think the viewers are going to love it, and it's something that you can actually put into the dish, prepare and not cook, and when you get home from work, just pop it in the oven, and um, you don't need to stress about dinner. All right. Where All do right, we start, so, Moira? Well, I'm going to start with the sauce. If you want to start with the chicken, what we're going to put with the chicken in an oven dish, we're okay. going to put some coloured peppers on. All right. Um, robot colours I'm using just to add some extra <laughs> colours. Um, and then on top of that, you're going to put the, the Two apricots. You're just going to put them all on. Easy on top. like that. All right. Easy so like I'll start that. with the peppers. All right. And all of them because it adds a lot of extra flavour and yeah. texture. All right. All right. So all of them together it doesn't matter. They can all just go all over the place. That's it. And they look. They look wonderful. All right. And you can use any chicken pieces. Um, we're just using thighs and um, yeah, drumsticks. which is also nice right. and juicy pieces. And you said the cake. Uh, um, and use all of, <coughs> all the um, apricots. Just drizzle right. them over. All or right. Scatter so them. Should I say? So you have drained the liquid. We've drained the liquid. All right. You can either use the liquid in the sauce, or you you can um, omit it. But the, the apricots have that nice juicy tangy um, yes. flavour, you know, and it just adds such a, a lovely dimension to the chicken. And do you need to some salt and pepper on this? Not as well? now. Not yet. Um, what I've got here is my brown onion um, soup powder. Okay. We're going to add in some boiling water. All right, and some seasoning. Okay, some pa uh, paprika. That's it. Okay, they're all out, and then some sweet chili sauce. I nice. love sweet chilli sauce. Um, I think it just adds an, a, a touch it. of chilli. You know, it's for those people who don't really like all the chilli. If it was yeah. me, I'd add an. Because sweet chilli is not necessarily no. spicy, but no, it's got no, a nice no. texture and flavour to it. No, it's not. Okay, and then while I'm stirring, if you don't mind, um, just putting the mayonnaise in for me. Sure, sure, sure. Now mayonnaise, um, people say, oh, careful, yeah, because um, it can split. But this is a this is a tangy mayonnaise. All right. Um, and it's got a oil, good oil content, so it's not going to so split. It's not going to split. And right. what it does do is add juiciness to the. Um, oh. the the chicken and make it nice and soft and Mayonnaise. tender. Mayonnaise, would you ever? Okay, cool. So how do I do this? Just, just put it all in. This is a, a mood bay recipe. You put, throw everything in a bowl and, and mix it and then you pour it over your chicken. All right, so there we go. All right, so you just whisk it nicely and you'll yeah. see it all blends nicely. Then we're going to add in some coriander and fresh basil. Okay. I like to use a combination of that because it goes well with the sweet chili and the apricots. All right. All right. And we're going to keep some for the end. Let's just put a little Wait, bit more some in. Some fresh garnish. Yeah. Yeah. And then while I'm stirring, if you want to put in some crushed black pepper. Okay, and here? Yeah. There we go. Can't cook without that. Absolutely not. All right, that and then I'll just put in a, a, a pinch of salt. Okay. And that's it. And then we pour it over the chicken. And that's going to be basically our sauce. And that's going to be basically our sauce. And the, powder, the onion powder adds extra flavour into that's it. it. That's why we didn't put onions in. And you just pour it over nicely to cover everywhere. Um, and this goes into the oven at 180. Um, you can cover it for half the, the cooking process the cooking to keep in all the juices. Um, and then halfway through, you take it out and you just brown the top of it. All right. Perfect. Cool. Okay, so that's guys ready to go into the oven. So, yeah, then you just, you just make sure everything's covered and then that will go into the oven. And cool. then on my left, because we're going to serve it with rice and then we're yes. going to serve it with salad. Now, rice can be quite boring, not just on its own. Yeah. And we want to add in some extra nutrition into this meal for mom to be very happy <laughs> that she's fed her kids. Okay. All right, so we're going to add in some lentils. Um, and this again is cooked already. The cool lentils are, are cooked, so you don't need to cook them separately. Yeah. You cook your rice and then you just fold in your lentils, and it just adds in some extra texture, and it's, it's really nutty and, right. and wholesome. Which is also, I'm sure, going to complement the, chi the, the, the chicken so well, the lentils Correct. itself, yeah. All right, I'm going to go pop this into the oven. Perfect, perfect. Well, if you want to get your hands on the recipe for our delicious chicken casserole with uh, some rice and also some lentils, you can just SMS the keyword KU to 33728, as easy as that. Alternatively, if you want to stick around, we're going to show you exactly how we made this one more time. Season the chicken, then top with mixed peppers and ku apricot halves. Mix onion soup powder, paprika and boiling water. Mix onion mixture with sweet chilli sauce, mayonnaise and herbs. Pour sauce over the chicken. Cover casserole dish and bake in oven for one hour. Mix rice with ku lentils. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword ku to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1.50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. 
There we have it. Absolutely delicious. SM is the keyword once again. Ku to 33728. And we'll send you everything you need to know. And Moira, that looks mouth watering. Oh. I'm sure Kat's going to approve on this one. This is just a really home, good, oh. feel good cooked yeah. meal. A little bit of coriander and fresh basil on the top, yep. and really a simple homemade meal. Well, like you said, it's, it's a, a feel good food, meal. But yeah, it's, a feel -good <laughs> meal. <laughs> it's a hearty meal. And then you serve it, of course, with a nice little fresh uh, side salad. Jeff Moira, thank you once again so much. It really does look amazing. Remember that keyword, it is KU. SMS that to 33728. And while you're at it, why don't you share some of your family's favorite chicken recipes with us? You can email those recipes to food at expressoshow.com. And also, when you do SMS our keyword this morning, which is KU, to 33728, you will receive the ingredients list as well as be entered into the competition for a chance to win an AMC gourmet pan valued at 2,400 Rand. It's an amazing prize. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.